So first of all, sorry if there is some background noise, I have to open the window, there is something like 50 degree here in the room and oh my god, it's really hard to review something in summer, probably you know it. We already reviewed some active speakers on t channels remember like the Forte A5 MK2 from Orgon Audio and if you remember well, was a great active speaker is coming with an affordable price it's versatile because you can use it also from home for home theater and first of all is gears free you will not need any amplification external amplifier so space and today we are going to check directly from the french manufacturer triangles the aio twin active speaker that is the entry level from triangle as always before to deep in the review to support my channels considering to subscribe and hit the like button so let's find out how the triangle AIO twin is performing the AIO twin is an extremely well designed active speaker I love how elegant its look, details like the unique alloy extended feet instead spikes or the premium grille are a touch of serenity and balance that make the design unique and refined. So the designs for me is absolutely an A+, triangles really well done, actually you can see it here behind me. And it's crazy that it's available in 5 different color finishes. And my favorite is the Abyss Blue. Unfortunately, I receive it in black. And as far as I know, Triangle doesn't offer, unfortunately, the possibility to customize the speaker finishes with the grill finishes. That it could be, in my opinion, something really, really good. Design is ultra compact. Actually, let me take one so you can see it in my hand. And here we go. As you see, it really compact. Speaker Designs has a rear bus reflex port, so distance from the wall may produce more or less bass response. Something to take it in consideration. It's absolutely beautiful, I love how it looks. Grill is magnet, look really beautiful, elegant and refined. Twin offer all the connectivity that you need, like Bluetooth, aptX, Wi-Fi up to 24 bits, 192 kHz. That give me some problem with Cobas, but we'll speak about it just in a moment later. RCA or Phono input, you have to choose one between them. Subwoofer output and optical and USB input. So it's like the HDMI port, something that should be not a problem because every TV is coming with an optical output, right? And I use actually the optical output to connect my TV and we'll see just in a moment later. Something that I like in the HDMI is that you can control the volumes just with one control. So from the remote control of the TV, I can control the volumes, right? You can still do it with the optical only if you have something like the LG Sync, for example, but it's not supported from the three angles AIO twin so you cannot use it so you will have to use the triangle remote control that is pretty nice is small is working really great and has, has everything you need pairing the AIO twin with your smartphone is easy and intuitive same applications from triangle is available for iOS and Android is extremely well designed is bug free and you can stream your favorite music from many providers like Spotify, Cobas, Tidal, Deezer and Napster. Napster? Actually, I don't know anyone that has it, but it's there. And what if you have Amazon Music? Well, you can still use the Bluetooth that is aptX that I find enough and great for such a speaker technology. But I'm not finished. The app will give you also the possibility to rename your set of speaker, apply some basic equalizations on treble and bass that you can save on six different presets. Beautiful, 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 I like it. Another thing to say is that you cannot see the speaker from Cobas applications directly, probably because it doesn't feature Chromecast and you have to connect to Cobas in the IO Triangle speaker app. And here's something interesting to say regarding Cobas is that generally I let Cobas because you can decide the quality, right, of the reproductions. You have 24 bit, 129 kilos, that is the maximum level of reproductions. And I get such a 
small minor issue problems by reproducing files that probably are so big, right? I had some interruptions during the reproduction. So to avoid these interruptions, I had to go down to CD quality. So now you'll think probably Meta cannot take advantage from all Cobus potential, right? But it's not exactly like that because I find CD quality actually no difference from CD quality and 192 kilohertz on this technology, on these speakers. So CD quality is perfect. And of course with Spotify any problem because it's still MP3. Spotify, we are still waiting for high resolution files. Please move on. Bluetooth connected. Setup the speaker is really easy. The only things that you have to do is power cables and a speaker cables connections between the two speakers that is also actually available with the Triangles AIO Twin. I test the speaker in two different positions. One is this one behind me that is, I like to call it a sort of a break in uh, stations uh, something like that so i use it for uh, background music uh, and uh, i really really like it and enjoy it and here the bass was really powerful because it's closer to the wall and i tested also on a stand alone configurations where i test actually my gears my hi-fi system and here is where i perform my critical listening for review products something to say is that i would like to see the possibility to change between left and right. What I mean with this is about to decide which speaker is left and which speaker is right. Why? The right speaker is the main one where you will find all the inputs and outputs. And most of the times you have the TV with input and outputs on the left. So you will find yourself to placing cables from left to right, something also for the power cost, right? If you have the power cords on the left, you will have to push it on the right. So make no sense. And it's an issue that we saw it also with the Orgon Audio Forte. So I really would like to see the possibility to switch between left and right. And now finally, let's move to sound quality. I was really impressed on how much well is the speaker tuned, especially on the bass how much power is coming out from such a small and compact speaker crescent. Bass is powerful and airy, make it suitable for any musical genre like reggaeton, dance, hip hop and afrobeat. I love afrobeats. Without need of any subwoofer, also moving on something more R&B like Genevieve, Baby Powder. Drums and bass lines are kicking hard with articulations, presence are so clean. Genevieve's voice was beautiful, airy, slightly forwarded from the instruments, but never in your face. Wow. That I thought, oh my God, that's really more than a, just an interesting and good looking speaker. And I told you that this speaker really doesn't need any subwoofer. Of course, if you had such a small subwoofer, one is coming, stay tuned. It will make the things more and more interesting. But if you push at plus five, the bass from the application you will be really surprised how many bass informations are coming out from the speaker with authority and something funny because i always test tracks more times right i test it with and without grease and i got some distortions oh god it can be let me take a closer look of the speaker and yes the grill was resonating by touching the front buffer it's crazy because the speaker was really pushing a lot of air when the bass was at plus five and definitely yes triangle should take a look of this issue by the way by removing the grill you will have also better performance in the mid-range and on the treble with voices that will be more free Overall, the sound quality is not only well balanced and natural, but has also an incredibly good timber accuracy for such technology like an active speaker. Crazy. Vocal and instruments sound natural, airy and with presence. If you place it on a stand, I suggest a small to in not too much, just to give a better center imaging, still conserving a good sound stage. It's a speaker that is never fatigued, doesn't call attention on it and able to give you a great bass also on hip hop without never hide voices or instruments. Another great song that I really enjoy was Tears for Fears. 
bad man songs i know call me old vintage man but i love such music right in any way drums and piano intro was firm solid powerful and voices clear and alive okay i have another interesting story to tell you this speaker was funny to review in any case what about audiophile music right spanish Harlem, this stuff is telling you something listening for spanish Harlem at 30 seconds around 30 seconds when she's saying she is a special one i had a sort of crispy distortions sounds coming out from the speaker and what's that only from the right speaker so let me take a look and was the phone stage ground that was unscrewed so if you are not going to use a turntable remember to fix it and now let's jump to movie sound quality <laughs> So I test the speaker with Netflix and by connecting the optical cables between my LG OLED TV 65 inch and the speaker as I told you right. The first thing that you have to do is from the TV select optical and set up the output as PCM otherwise you will not have any sound and we saw this also with the Ford A5 MK2. Next from the remote control or the app you have to choose the optical output that is the purple LED. In any case no sounds at all coming out from the speaker I say what so i check the optical cables and you will see this red light right coming out from the optical cable so the cables i think was good was fine it must be something else right i also wrote an email to triangle that sent me these instructions to update the firmware of the speaker and i will let the link in the description because this really saved my life all you have to do is write the speaker ip you can find it on the app Click on do it at the end from the link that I let in descriptions. Go back on the applications and do the firmware upgrade. Really easy to do work on the first trials, but for sure I want to see from Triangle the possibility to upgrade the firmware in automatic directly from the application. First series that I watched was Black Mirror. Finally, the new seasons available. I love this telefilm. And here I have to say that dialogues and intelligibility is absolutely A+. Plus. And moving on, Tyler Rake that I know in the US has another name, something like Extradictions? No. Ah, Extraction. I had to watch the first one because I wanted to watch number two, but I didn't saw the first one, so I had to watch first this one. And FX between left and right channels was, oh my God, I can't believe it. There is the first house shooting scenes in Bangladesh when he find the kid remember and enemy were coming from behind me as I was listening to my Dolby Atmos on theater around one hour there is this helicopter scenes and was really so high is coming from the on ceiling speaker so what is really happening here why is so immersive right and then I remember that on Netflix you have the possibility now to watch the specials audio right that is this technology done from Sennheiser in collaborations with Netflix to have a sort of virtual multi-channel systems and yes it's working really great not in every scenes but in most of them it's really doing a great job and I really enjoy it regarding movie you need a subwoofer right and I did the test with the Orgon Audio 8 sub 8 I know I don't remember the name sorry but it's coming soon so stay and as last test i check also the phone stage input i really test everything and i connect my organ audio t4 tune tables fitted with the orthophone blue to m that is a great tune tables for the money review available in the description I play some of my favorite LP and I was really satisfied from the triangle twin phono input that was much better compared to the phono of the TT4. Cleaner with more body, vibe and more clear. By the way, I review also some affordable compact external phono stage review available in descriptions or I will let it also here. Take a look because with 100, 200 bucks you can really take the phono stage to the next level. Overall, I was really satisfied from the AIO twin phone stage and now let's move to comparison. In 
In terms of retail price and size, the Orgon Audio Forte that we review is the perfect speaker to compare it with the Triangle, right? Unfortunately, I don't have the Forte A5 and K2 anymore. <laughs> it's like that, you can't have everything doesn't work like that. And I compare it, the two speakers, first with scripts, right? Because I do some scripts, I want are my feeling during the critical listening and also by some measures that I perform from my listening positions with room echo wizard. So take it in consideration. That is not a direct comparison. So as you can see, we have the triangles in blue with a slightly roll of tribbles compared to the Forte A5 MK2 in orange. On lower tribbles around 5K, the triangles doesn't look like the Forte A5, resulting in a more convincing and invisible attached mid treble transition. Also low mid and mid range is more flat and balanced compared to the Forte A5, where on bass are pretty identical. From subjective point of view, triangle is more balanced, more neutral, more composed and less V-shaped. Triangle is like the HDMI of Forte A5 MK2, but it's coming with a smart application, something that with Forte I didn't saw, at least when I reviewed it. In terms of retail price, the Triangle is more expensive, 100 bucks more at least in Europe, that really worth the money considering the superior sound quality. So these were my pros and cons. One is the grills that is making some noise when you push it at high volumes or with when bass is plus five. So something to take it in consideration and sound quality is better without. So without you can really improve the sound quality, unfortunately, because I really like how they are look. But if you don't listening at high volumes and with plus five on bass, then it's not a problem. Second point is the LED, this light LED that is uh, telling us the source that it's playing, right? It's really bright, it's big, and when I'm watching, if you're using the speaker also in home theater for watching movie, I find it really distracting. So I would like to have the possibility to turn it off when I want. Overall, Triangle did a really beautiful speaker that is small outside and big inside. For every music genre with an affordable price, is refined and clean, looking to young generations and not only. So if you are looking for a versatile hi-fi system that's working great also with TV and movies, under one grand I can really recommend the Triangle IAO Twin. Med Audio approved. I hope you enjoyed the review. As always, subscribe to the channel to support my work and see you soon with great contents. Peace.